Let's take a look at the basics of creating a chart. I will select my data, including the labels that I want to use for my chart. Note that I've left off any total columns or any total rows. I will come up to my insert menu. I will choose under the charts group. I'll pick the kind of chart that I'd like, maybe a column chart, and I will choose a 3D column chart and it drops the chart out onto my page. Notice that I have the labels or more specifically my column labels along the right hand side of the chart and I have my left column in my data along the bottom of the chart. If I'd like to swap this, I can come up to my chart tools design tab, select the chart first and over here inside of the data group you have switch row column and you can convert these and switch these back and forth if you'd like. Try another way to create a chart. I'll come over here to my second table which just has a list of months along with book sales along the right hand side. I'll click in the middle of this guy. There's no total rows or total columns. And um, I'll come up and just choose insert. This time I'll choose a line chart and I'll choose this first line chart out here. Pull this guy down. Let's try one more. I'll come down and click on my expenses tab. I will select my data, making sure I leave off any total rows. Doesn't look like I have any. And I will choose insert. This time I will choose in my charts group uh, pie chart and I'll choose the first one on the left here. Pull that aside. I'd like to enhance my chart a little bit. I'm going to come out here and with my chart selected under chart tools design I'm going to come out here to change chart type and I will choose a 3D exploded pie chart and I'll click OK. To enhance a little further with some shadowing under the chart tools design tab under the chart styles I will click the more button which is this little drop down arrow here and I'll choose this guy to give it more of a shadowing effect. Let's add some data labels and change up the fonts just a little bit. I'll come up to my chart tools, design contextual tab. I'll move to layout and under layout, I'll come out here to data labels and I'll go down to more data label options. In the format data labels dialog box, I'll come out here and I'll uncheck value and put in percentage and then I'll click on close and I see the percentages show up. I'm going to go ahead and right click one of my fonts here. I'll go to font. I'll change the size to say 15 and I'm going to go ahead and make them bold as well and I'll click OK and they really start to stand out. Do the same for my labels as well. Blow, blow those up to about 12 and we'll click OK. Next let's take a look at how to move a chart out onto its own sheet down here in the sheet tabs area. I'm going to move back to sales. I'm going to go ahead and click on my column chart here that I created earlier. I'm going to go out here to design. On design I'm going to come out to the right and choose move chart. I'll come out here and click on new sheet and I'll give this a new name. Annual sales. I'll click OK and I have a new chart sheet out here on the left and I can see this when it's selected. This is a full 8.5 by 11 page. Instead of just looking at it out here we can now see it um, in a larger view come out here, click on my chart tools layout tab and off to the left I'll go ahead and click on axis titles and I'll choose primary horizontal axis title. I'll choose title below axis. Pops this down here at the bottom. I'll call this press enter. Now I'll add the vertical axis. I'll come out here chart tools layout and under the labels group I will choose axis titles. I will choose primary vertical axis and I will choose vertical title and I see it over here on the left. I'll type sales, press enter, and I see this new label. Next I'll check the format on my line chart. I'll come out here, select my line chart on my sales tab and um, on the design tab I'll move out here to, or layout I'll move to design and in the chart styles I'll come down here and choose the third row, first one on the left and change the look of my line style chart. Next I'll choose a layout for my chart. I'll select my chart and from the design tab I'll come out here to charts layout and I'll choose maybe this third chart from the left on the third row. And I get some vertical bars along with my horizontal bars on my chart. I'll change the horizontal axis label to month and I'll change the vertical axis to sales. Click away, have a look at the chart. Let's make it stand out just a little bit more. I'm going to add a glowing effect to the back of the chart. I'm going to click on my chart, come up to Shape Styles. It's under the Format tab in the Chart Tools. Shape Styles, I'll click Shape Effects. I'll go down to Glow. I'll pick one of these glow effects, maybe this guy right here. And now when I click away, I've got this beautiful olive glowing color on the back of the chart. 